Liverpool's own Paddy and Molly. Look, I'm just saying, you two are brilliant individually. Together, you're on another level. Did, did you feel the love from the crowd out there? You go first, lad. Go on. Yeah, <laughs> to be honest, I think we got the biggest cheer out of everyone. You know what I mean? And we're not in like the, the, the main events or co-main events slot, but... People's uh, co-main and people's main, aren't yeah, we, lad? Like, we're going to steal the show just like we did in Vegas. It's, it's going to happen. Everyone knows it. Um, half of Liverpool's come down to watch this. It's going to be like fighting in our own town. Do you get nervous for one another? Because obviously Molly's going to go first. She's on the main card. You must be really proud. But how are you backstage when Molly's heading out there to, to go to war, basically? Yeah, I get more nervous watching Molly than going out myself, and she's the same. Gets more yeah. nervous watching me than fighting herself. It's, it's much worse watching your teammates fight than fighting yourself because you're in there, you know what you're doing. When your teammates in there, you're just like, ooh. And you, you know ooh, how hard ooh. they've worked. Like, there's not, people don't work and train as hard as what we do. In our gym, they do, but... I know our opponents and that don't, so sometimes if it's not going the, our way and you think, friggin' now they've worked so hard for that moment, but the, the, the fans' passion, the, the fans' cheering, how much money every single one of you have spent back home to come and watch us, we swear, we swear we will give you a night to remember. This is going to be history. This night we are going to make history, we promise. We don't doubt it. And look, your UFC debut was at the Apex. You know, a few few people there, but not many. Did you get a bit of a taste of it during the, the weigh-ins there as to what you can expect tomorrow? And does this feel like the real debut in that sense? In a sense, yeah. Like, that's only about 10% capacity, isn't it? You know what I mean? And it was loud. loud. Imagine what it's going to be like tomorrow night. I Trust me now, you're going to have seen nothing like this, nothing at all like this ever. Well, tell us what we can expect from both of you. Your fight, how do you see it going down? What's the prediction from you, Molly? We're going with second round finish. It's 28 to 1. <laughs> so that's what, we're, that's what we're going with. Um, it's my time. It's yeah. my time to get a finish. So. Brilliant. Paddy? First round finish, same as last time. However he wants to get finished, I'll finish him. Um, if he wants to strike, if he wants to grapple, I'll either submit him, finish him with ground and pound, or knock him out. I, I, I know he doesn't get out the first round, and he's going to... Uh, decibel levels that is I've never heard in the O2 before when I climb on that cage. I was, I, feel, I got a feeling that you, you might call someone out. I know you've said Mark Zuckerberg because <laughs> yeah, of Facebook. <laughs> Get your Facebook and your Instagram back on. But do you feel like, are there names you've got in mind? Don't tell me now, but are names you've got in mind that you want to call out to after the fight? No. A lot of people probably think I'm going to call hand sanitizer boy out, but <laughs> he's beneath me, you know what I mean? Yeah. Terror them the other day, bounced the bottle of hand sanitizer off his head when he tried to act hard. So I don't need to, I don't need to call anyone out. Jai's going to knock him out. And then I'll be calling Zuckerberg out in the cage, sounds as sort as head out. That incident with Ilya Tapura, did that, how did that, well, you don't tell us how it came about. I know you've told that story, but like, how did that affect you this fight week, having that kind of incident? It didn't affect me at all. It affected your followers, that's about it. Yeah, it, it, it affected him. He's thinking about me and not focusing on Jai, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back and haunt him, because I've watched Jai fight, I know Jai, Jai's quality, and he's going to put him to sleep and send him back down to the featherweight division where he belongs. Right. Last word then. With so many Brits on the card, obviously both being from Liverpool, but just the British talent in general, what's that atmosphere and energy like? It's like a, it's like we've gone back to school, like a school reunion. Like nine, nine of the fighters on this card we've shared the changing room with for the last 10, 11, 12 years. So feels just we're at home in England and it's like we're at home with all our, our fighting family. So it's a nice place to be when it's familiar and it's a safe place because everyone's just got everyone's back. Well nearly everyone who's not trying to throw it for everything at him <laughs> everyone who's not trying to get some followers off my name <laughs> look we cannot wait to see you both in there tomorrow night go well and um, enjoy every moment thank see you see you later oh, we will the takeover is happening watch watch when we take over the place tomorrow and steal the show next level gear <laughs>